Hi and welcome back here to the video. So this is the second part of the process. If you didn't watch the first video, the first part, please do. So in this video, I'm going to cover the, the two ways that I know to launch a process in our systems. So imagine that I want to, to work with the student. Okay. And I need to launch uh, this process when a student is created. We can do this. Okay. So if you go here in the process, we have launch on. And the launch on, what she will do is to get every table that we have in the module and to get the create something, create table, you see? So you have student, create student. We have role, create role, and so on, okay? So if you will get every CRUD table that has create. So we can click twice in the create, and if I, in my code, in my application, I create a student. If I create a student, creates or update, what he will do in here, he will launch this process. This is the first or the one way to launch the process. Okay. Another way to launch the process is to create a server action. And we can use the launch process. That is, let me just change the name. So let's say create student. Okay. Uh, yeah, exactly. Okay, so we have launch create student. So let me go back here. I, I, I'm already there. So let's drag and drop this. And this action, this action, we can launch the process. This is the second, the second way that we can, another way that we can, that we can do the, the launch process. Okay. By default, when we create a process, let me do it again. By default, We have the launch process and we have the process ID. This is always like this. Why? Because we need to know which process ID we are creating. That's why. So when we launch a process ID, what we'll do, he'll create a process here. That's what he will do. He'll create an ID, label, and so on. Everything that he has, he'll create. Okay. So in order to, to run this, we need, in this case, we need to send the student ID. Why? Because we said that he will launch when we create a student. Okay. In this case, we just need in the real project, we need to, to decide if you want to do this or we're going to, to do this. It depends. Okay. It's up to you, but it depends the way that you want to build the, your application. That's, I think it's the best possible answer. Okay. So in here, in order to run this, we need to create, we need to send a, a student ID that's in this case, that's, that's what, what we need. We can also, if you want to, to send the, by the server action, we do not need this. And if you do not need, if you don't need this, he will not ask this. That's why he creates the input parameter. And that input parameter is not changeable. Did you see? Let me just show you again. It's not changeable. Okay. You cannot change this. 
So let's move. Yeah. So this is the second way. Okay, the third way, uh, if you didn't see the first video, you can create by this, you can create the process. And, uh, but I don't recommend because I think what needs to run in the process. Uh, so in order to, to run the process, you need to, to use something regarding the process. It's not like creating a CRUD action and so on. So you need to use this or to, to use this big, uh, but what the, the, the item or the component that it will, um, get in, get in charge, um, it will be the process and not the, and not the, the CRUD or form or a button or action. Okay. That's the process that's, we want to, um, to make, make these things, uh, work. Let me just show you one last thing. So regarding the launch on, okay. So we can, we can use as uh, a create student can use this CRUD action because it is exposed process events. So if I tick this, I'm going to get a new error. And if I go back here, this is incorrect. That's why we need to have the exposed process events. If I remove this, so let me go back here. Let me remove, remove, and let me get again. I can get again this, but it's not exposed. But if I click again here, if we go back here in the entity, out systems automatically change this. So he allows you to get the, to, to get the, the table that we have and see the, the, the create action. And if you select that, he will automatically tick the exposed process event because if it, if this is not ticked, it, 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 it will get an error. Okay. So that's why. Okay. So for this video, it's everything. And the next one, I'm going to cover the activities that we have here uh, and I'm going to show you the callback actions that we have and how this works. Okay. So please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.